This week on Why Math, the VROC crew heads to Cedar Point to learn about the math behind Power Tower. Math is the basis of Power Tower. Power Tower uses a pneumatic air system to push a piston up, which in turn brings a cart that you ride on down. It's very important that the engineers who built this figure out how many square inches and what pressure are pushing on these pistons. The air pressure that they put on that piston determines where it is. It takes about 20 pounds per square inch to lift a full load of people to the top of Power Tower. From there, if you calculate the weight of the cart, you can determine how much load that's lifting and how fast it would go up. Power Tower was built in the late 90s by a company called SNS Power. They specialize in pneumatic rides, so their rides have to do with cylinders and pistons and pneumatic force. They've also built coasters similar to Dragster that launch with pneumatic power. There are many considerations when building a ride like this. First, you need a solid structure that can support the dynamic loads of the carts going up and down. You also need to consider the wind loads pushing on the side of the structure and how to support that tower, just like the Empire State Building. We have to have a concrete base that is equally strong so it doesn't tip over. That has to deal with the compression of the earth and how much force we can put on the earth. Engineers and physicists have to calculate all that math and physics to make sure it doesn't fall over. These rides are people movers. They over-design by factors higher than they really need to to make it stand up. The top section of Power Tower weighs over tens of thousands of pounds. They had to have a NASA train to put that up. With pieces this heavy, the people who constructed this needed to do some very precise math and calculations to know what size train they needed to lift that up, what size piece or how much it weighed, and what the bolting factors would be to put that together, for example, the wind loads we talked about. There are two different sections on Power Tower. One of them compresses air and then dumps all that air on top of the pistons to push you up the tower. Those g-forces push you into your seat, and that's what we call down g-forces. The other side, or the green section, actually brings you up to the top and then launches you down you actually experience slightly more than weightlessness. The ride will increase the amount of air in the cylinder to level it out. For example, if there's 15 pounds per square inch, it knows that the cart weight is equal to whatever the piston force is on those 15 pounds per square inch. So it takes that, analyzes it, and adjusts how much air it needs to build up to shoot the cart up the tower at the same speed every single time. Math is all around you at Cedar Point, so the next time you're waiting in line, make sure you take a look around and notice all the math that's keeping you safe, but more importantly, making sure that you have a good time. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching! This is Why Math! <laughs>